No, we operate in groups of about five people, at the most ten. So you just trust the bank, yeah? Yeah, that's what they're paid to do. No, I don't care about the people, and to be honest, they shouldn't care either, because at the end of the day, it's the banks that pay for their loss. Location is the most important factor in all of this. We have people that study maps. We have people working 24-7, watching certain ATMs which have been shortlisted. We have somebody who is, uh, who is working in some banks um, and I know a lot of other cells that operate they, uh, they, they, they have internal people as well. It's like anything, every man has his price. And if you pay them enough, then uh, they're, 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 gonna, they're gonna help you. Um, we have eyes everywhere to make sure that we're selecting the right ATM. ATM locations are basically um, between stores to keep this ATM safe because if it's a very tough criminal and he decides upon the first activation to the activation to continue with what he's doing we need to keep the protection uh, level uh, to the maximum it's gonna be uh, two three hours sometimes longer uh, we, 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 we will come up with 30 to 40,000 pounds. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but on average 30 to 40,000. Uh, if we do this twice a month, uh, then you have to divide it by the people at work. You have to pay different people. We have people that work for us that, 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 that clean the money and it's gonna come back uh, normally two three months later so we have to wait for it but there's always a pipeline there's always uh, uh until the police arrives and that can be uh, several minutes later of course but it can also be two days later if it's an atm somewhere in the outback of australia the distance is, of course, completely different. So that's why uh, we need an, what we call indefinite time window to, to keep this ATM safe. Why, why should I? <laughs> the, the banks are banks. They're, they're a business too. Um, we have a competition. And they have a department uh, that's that operates to, to try and prevent us and um, it's, it's up to them if they don't want to concentrate on on, on this then uh, that's fine and that's that's what we're finding we've been operating for years and in the amount of cells across the UK grow significantly for one reason nothing is stopping us. It's so easy. It's, it's it's something where we can make money without even being noticed.
So you've just taken some money out here, yeah? Yes. And um, did security pass your mind at any point at all? To the uh, into the cash machine. Did you think about security at any point? And what did you think? Okay. Do you know um, with um, current technology, what the fraudsters actually do is they um, they put a a pin pad over the top of this. Yes. So they don't need a camera anymore because it records your, um, uh, your, your, your pin number when you put it in. Uh, they have a device somewhere which will pick that pin number up when you type it so they no longer need cameras anymore. But it's fairly obvious there's no pad on Well, actually not at all. Uh, the pads are manufactured and to look exactly the same as that and it's very, very difficult to tell if it is a counterfeit pad. They'll put it underneath uh, the panel here as well, so it looks like it's flush. I knew about the pads, but I thought you'd be able to see it fairly easily, so no, I didn't know that. Is it just checking to see if anyone's around you that you that you check for then? And do you, do you trust the bank that they look after things like uh, devices on the machine and stuff like that? I know that they try, but whether or not they can manage to find everything and see everything that's likely to happen, I don't know. So you just kind of get on with it and hope for the best? I hide my pin number and get on with it, yes. Fair sure enough. Yeah. Yeah. And did security pass, pass your mind once when you did it? What did you think of? Do you always think about that when you take up cash? Yeah? Do you just trust the bank or...? And do you just trust it? Yeah. Okay, cool. No worries. Do you know um, with uh, what they actually do with the pin pad? So they put a pin pad over the top, they don't need cameras anymore. And uh, they can record what you type in. Yeah, no worries. No, I appreciate that. Cheers, guys. Thank you. some cash and um, when you withdrew it and um, did you think about your security at all yeah yeah I did do you normally think about security or yeah and what what do you do and um, well I don't like it when people stand close to me and I like, cover the numbers up with my hand okay and um, do you do you have like a particular ATM that you use most often or, or? Um, well this local one is the one that I use most often and you trust it um, Yes, not as much as I would as my banks in town. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good <laughs> you think about any kind of security whatsoever when you when you withdrew the money? Not at all. You just assume they need it. You know, you're using a bank, expect them to have up to date security and all the latest bits and bobs needed. So no, I just took the money and yeah, you don't even think about it. I won't check my bank balance when I get home later and just assume everything's all right. So you just trust the bank, yeah? Yeah, that's what they're paid to do. The people more important than me pay to uh, protect these things. Obviously, you ha always have a little bit of a look, make sure there's nothing kind of stuck onto it. But what, what, what if, um, what if the, uh, what if something did happen and they said it was your bank, for example? Then what, what would you say? I mean, would you start asking questions? Would you start saying, "Well, I, I don't trust the bank." I don't know. I think. These things happen as long as I've got my money back, you know.
which has something to try and stop us, some device. And we know that there will be 500 other ATMs. For every one ATM that has a device, there will be 500 other ATMs without one. So Welcome to the ECS 4-in-1 Anti-Skimming Solution Product Overview. Each ECS 4-in-1 solution is part of a kit that is specific to a particular type of ATM. Each kit contains a card reader bezel to match the ATM and comes with the ECS sensor technology and jamming antenna pre-installed. All required cables are also included in the kit. The ECS utilizes dual photo sensing technology. Both infrared and ambient light sensors constantly look for foreign objects, light, reflection, and movement around the card reader bezel and are self-calibrating which dramatically minimizes false alarms. Other standalone solutions like capacitive sensing which is prone to false alarms as they are affected by disturbances picked up by cell phones, metal objects such as jewelry and rain or snow. Once the ECS is installed, the solution which is controlled by the ECS DRC controller is constantly sensing the environment around the card reader bezel. If a potential threat is detected, the ECS will begin a five cycle verification process to determine the presence of a potential threat, all the while emitting jam random jamming frequencies protecting the customer card data. If at the end of the five cycles the threat remains, an alarm notification will be sent. The jamming frequencies that are generated by the ECS are truly random and disrupt the skimmer's ability to capture card data, as well as incapacitating the internal clock of the skimming device. In addition to the skimmer alarm, the ECS can also send an alert indicating online, offline, or an error message to notify the institution of a potential problem so action can be taken. Notifications are most commonly sent via the dry contact outputs to an alarm panel. There is also an option to send alerts via GSM or to integrate to a third-party monitoring software. The ECS does not take the ATM or card reader out of service but will always protect the card data. If a skimmer is detected, the ECS will go back to ready status once the thread has been removed and will not require any rebooting or service intervention. There's no uh, socialist background movement to this. This is, this is one thing, it's a business and I am a businessman. I have a family and so don't make it more complicated or think that it's more complicated than it is, it's money.